Good evening and welcome to this service of Holman Evening Prayer. As we begin our worship this evening, for those of you who did pick up a Lent kit from church, in your liturgy booklet you have all of the sung and spoken liturgy parts of Holman Evening Prayer, so you can follow along and sing along at home. Also, I know that many of you have been singing this liturgy for a long time, and so you are also free to sing from your heart. During our worship this evening, we will reflect on the theme uh, brought up from this past Sunday's worship service, that God is the one who brings us everlasting hope. Our reading from 1 Peter and our reflection piece for today will remind us that we will make it through the flood and we will make it through the wilderness, and that God is the one who walks with us and gives us hope along the way. You are invited to create sacred space where you are this evening. Light a candle if you have one. If you do have a Lent kit, you might pull out the prayer card and the prayer stone to have nearby as well. Whatever you need to do to make your space feel worshipful and sacred and set apart for these next minutes. Dear ones, we are glad that you are worshiping with us this evening. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you who sing creation soul. Oh, 
Oh, 
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening is from 1 Peter chapter 3. Christ suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey, when God waited patiently in the days of Noah, during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is eight persons, were saved through water. And baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. For reflection this evening, this is the poem Wilderness by Ian McCallum. Have we forgotten that wilderness is not a place, but a pattern of the soul where every tree, every bird and beast is a soul maker? Have we forgotten that wilderness is not a place, but a moving feast of the starts? footprints, scales, and beginnings. Since when did we become afraid of the night and that only the bright stars count, or that our moon is not a moon unless it is full? By whose command were the animals, through groping fingers one for each hand, reduced to the big and little five? Have we forgotten that every creature is within us, carried by tides of earthly blood, and that we named them. Have we forgotten that wilderness is not a place, but a season, and that we are in its final hour? Let us pray. Holy God, in the waters of the flood, you saved your people. In the wilderness of temptation, you protected your son. Renew us with your hope. Renew us with your promise to bring us life and not destruction. Send your spirit to be with us that the fears and the evils of this world may have no power over us. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Oh, my God, the 
Let us pray. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light of our lives. May the Spirit.
The peace of Christ be with you always. As you go forth into the rest of your evening, share a sign of peace with someone around you, whether in your household or via phone call or text, and go forth into the rest of your week bearing God's love and God's peace into this world.